All right, so next on the agenda, we got the OBD port. So I cut a hole in this. This is a sits right down there. So that's kind of tucked away and mounted pretty solid. So I think I've gone over it, <coughs> gone over it before, but wiring we got our power these two pins the two browns are grounds and the gray white is the K line so that just splices into our connector um, it's that orange connector it's the white gray wire so we just gotta splice that into there that goes to ECU so <clears throat> I'm actually gonna put a connector um, in between here and uh, the other side where it connects everything just so when I take this out I just disconnect that. I don't have to worry about um, tracing wire and trying to cut the K-line wire. So I'm just going to put a connector right here. And then uh, as far as grounds, I could probably ground onto here. Maybe put a bolt through this hole and ground there. And then I still got to find a power source. I believe it's constant power from the battery. So... I still got to, well, I need to get a battery in this thing so I can actually find some, some power sources. So, But either way, I'm going to get this ground on, get the K-line spliced over there, and then once I get a battery in, we can connect this power wire. Alright, we got the uh, connectors in. So, I'm going to wire one side to here, and then we'll go in the truck <coughs> and... Uh, wire that side in to the wiring in the truck so let's get uh, let's get this soldered in there All right, those are all soldered up. <clears throat> so, gonna heat shrink them, and uh, we can get the other other side of this connector soldered in. All right, we got that harness all wrapped up, ready to go, and we got uh, K line soldered in. The power is run straight from that plug over to my Toyota harness um, and this is a battery that's a hundred percent battery power that's not ignition power so that's what they are wired in factory with a battery power and then the only other wire we need is K line that's the white gray so that runs over and I spliced it in right here right to the ECU plug the big one right here so, and that'll be nice, so with that connector in it, I can pull the, pull this piece out and don't have to worry about taking the wires apart and disconnecting or cutting the wire. So that's why I put that connector in it. Hey guys, looks what showed up. So, got the um, ECU in from Jeff. Thanks Jeff. Um, check him out if you guys need any tuning. And he's also good with swap stuff too so he knows what to delete and everything so check him out um, so I'm gonna get this thing in and see if we can get uh, the computer to talk to it um, and also one more thing 109 relays if you if you have this like yellow colored one swap it out for a new one this black um, I already tried to power the ECU up and this thing wasn't working and that's the updated unit this one is known to fail so do yourself a favor and just buy a new one they're like 10 bucks so I got the ECO in um, just went through and made sure all my grounds were tight then the only other wire I had to connect was the ignition to that one fuse um, so I just wired that I just taped it up real quick um, so got my Rostec VCDS 
on my computer. Um, let's plug this in. And where's my key? Get the key in there. Yeah, here's the moment of truth. Hey, look at that. So, ECU definitely has power. We're into it. Let's see if it's got any codes. Uh, barometric pressure. I think that's my uh, math. I don't have that plugged in. Quantity adjuster. I'll have to check those. Solenoid. Yeah, I'll have to check those, make sure those are even plugged in, but good thing is we're into it, so everything looks like it's powered for the ECU at least, so it's it's powered up. Um so yeah, I'm gonna go through and check, make sure these things are actually plugged in and see what's going on there. Alright guys, look at that, no codes. So, a couple things unplugged, so I plugged it back in, clear it up when they haven't come back up. So, like I said, I'm waiting for a couple other things for this truck to be able to start it. Um, they're coming soon. Uh, I should have them tomorrow, so we'll see how far I get and see if we can get this thing fired up.